La 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 We'll just wait a couple minutes. Fish Whisper. <laughs> What's up, Miles? Happy New Year. Where the hell you been, boy? How you been? Ain't seen you in a bit. Glad to see that you're still above ground. How's the shop running? You must be swamped down there, huh? I bet you're real busy. I'm on the bus going home. <laughs> How long of a drive do you got from the bus to your work? How far of it? How far is it? DMC. <laughs> what's up? What's up? How's it going? I forgot my headphones at work. <laughs> Strip daddies. What's going on, duty? DMC's. DMC's in the house. Didn't think I'd see you tonight. Figured you'd be out uh, tearing up the town. Uh, uh, gotta unclog this filter real fast. So what's happening, DMC? What's you up to? Got any big plans tonight? There we go. Sorry about that. That would have just drove me nuts. Detroit Rock City. What's up? Where's my McGriddle at? <laughs> yeah, we got him. Tears and days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, same here, too. What's up, Leo Jet? What's happening? Yeah, I just thought I'd come on here real quick and see everybody before uh, you guys all get to doing your little special things for the night. And, uh, you know, it's a whole nother year. Gone Wishing Aquatics. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Gone Wishing Aquatics. <laughs> We got a new subscriber. Yeah, we didn't hit. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. You only have two hours and 52 minutes left to subscribe before the new year. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, didn't, didn't hit the, uh, didn't hit the big number this year, but I guess it was this. No big plans. Just hanging with you and my griddle. <laughs> uh, see, well, I appreciate it. I just had to come on and uh, see everybody uh, before we go do our little uh, apple juice thing and uh, hang out. Hold on. What is this? Hold on. Uh, all right. 
just algae. <clears throat> Looked really weird. It's growing on the glass, you know, hair algae. Really weird. Just sipping on some Mascal first drink all year and the last not big on the booze. Still in ya, what's happening? Happy New Year. Well, not yet, but <laughs> Leah Leah's on the Mascal. I don't even know if that stuff comes with worms. Well, good. I'm glad I could bring a smile to you. I'm, I'm so, I'm so glad. Yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> you know, there's uh, just uh, so many people that uh, are coming out with videos. I just didn't know. Um, I just, I just didn't know when it would be a good time, you know, and I wasn't going to do it. And I was like, yeah, I got to do it. Um, so, you know, I wanted to hop on here and say hello. Uh, had a few good days here. Uh, get a little side work in, make a couple dollars for the new year. Um, you know, so, it, so it isn't all a wash. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right. Hold on. What's, uh, hold on. You are the legend. <laughs> but yes, please hit the hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit everything you can. Two, four, three, six. Yeah, see this thing's probably gonna be all goofy today. <laughs> Oops, autocorrect. Yeah, I just want I want to come on and say, hey, Smiley Aquatics, Happy New Year. I just want to come on here and uh, say uh, hello to everyone before it got, got too late. And uh, two, I wanted everyone to know that uh, as a part of Detroit Shrimp and Aquatics family, that all 457 of you, that uh, we appreciate every one of you, uh, everything that you guys have done for us, whether it be just coming on here and uh, kicking it, talking shrimp, fish, talking about your day, uh, you know, anything, you know, making this channel what it is uh, so far. Um, Three in the morning over here. Holy snikes. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to uh, thank everybody for everything, for all the uh, nice things you guys have done for my family, the the presents that you guys send, Luke, um, you know, just all the super, super cool stuff, uh, all the nice responses and comments that you guys give us. Um you know, it's just uh, without you guys, we wouldn't have a channel. Um, I mean, we could, but we'd be talking to nobody. And that's not always fun because I'd have to answer myself all the time. And I do that enough as it is. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you. Because, um, you know, like I said, it's not when I first started this channel, you know, <clears throat> Uh, it's not like I haven't bred anything before, you know, I used to breed discus and, you know, it doesn't matter wherever I breed, I breed. But when I got on this channel, you know, there's, I learned a lot. And, uh, you know, when I started this, I thought it was all about, uh, you know, subscribers and getting to a thousand. And, you know, I was watching everyone else and how, you know, people would ask just everyone and their mother to hit the sub button and you know I was like oh wow that's cool you know I'm gonna do the same thing you know just over time it I just uh uh 
Yeah, I will. Um, it's just over time I realized that, uh, you know, subscribers are cool, but it's not, that's not the important part when it comes to this, you know, and uh, I've come to realize and learn that uh, the shrimp family on here is more important than how many numbers I have. Uh, you know, a really good product and, you know, everyone that's happy with dealing with us, that's the important part, you know, and making new friends and new family and all this. It's, uh, it's just a lot better than getting to a thousand subs. I'd rather be at the amount of subs that we're at now, um, and have the type of people that we have subscribe to our channel and a part of Detroit Shrimp and Aquatics and have, you know, a thousand or more subscribers and only 10 people watch the channel. So we're really happy with where it's at. Uh, we enjoy where it's at. Uh, and, uh, you know, we wouldn't have it any other way. So I just want to say thank you to everyone uh, in the shrimp world that is subscribed. And even if you aren't subscribed, I know a lot of people you know, don't subscribe to every channel. I totally understand that. So if you are not subscribed to this channel and you still watch or anything whatsoever, uh, thank you to you also for all the stuff that you guys do. Everyone is so personable and so unique and makes me smile all the time. Well, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to have you here, Leah Jet. I am very... Uh, lucky person. See, and that's another thing. Like to have my moderators that I have. I'm really, uh, uh, you know, honored to have the moderators that I have. And uh, uh, you know, I just, I don't know. I guess I just got lucky. You know, made it through. You know, the whole year started out with zero, and you know, I mean, I did hit 500, but. I'm sure in hell am close. I think I blew past. I was stuck on the 454 big block and I blew right past the 455 <laughs> Pontiac big block. So uh, I'm almost at the 460 Ford. I don't think I'm over 460, but uh, the Ford big block. So Dobo, Dobo said, <laughs> shut up. He is not. Well, hello, Dobo. Wow. Holy snikes. I thought I only seen you on Dennis's uh, channel. Well, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you showed up. It's an honor, Dobo. How are you? But uh, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, it's been a great year. It's been a lot of fun. I wouldn't change anything. Uh, I don't know. I just, uh, I just found out that, that having a good channel, it's 4 a.m. Don't ask. <laughs> All right. I won't. I'll just say, hey, just thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. It's really cool that you're here. I mean, it's, uh, it's cool. Everyone's here, but, uh, uh, you know, you hang out with Dennis. So I'm always on Dennis's show too. I got his hat. Oh, Luke's got it upstairs. He's been wearing it. So I just don't want to get him, him get it too dirty. What's this? B, you are well on your way to 500, then 1,000, then the sky's the limit. Well, like I said, I, I just, I appreciate that, but it's just, I don't care. The numbers, I don't care anymore. I mean, uh, I think the less I care, the faster they'll come. Because the less I care, uh, I'll be more, um, uh, you know, you'd be more real on the channel, you know? I mean, I remember when Mark Shrimp Tanks was like small. It seemed like just in the last year, I mean, literally in the last year, he went from itty bitty to monstrous and it's just, you know, his personality and stuff, you know? And uh, like, I think there's uh, some channels like Pure Shrimp, you know, Pure Nordic, I think he should have way more, but you know, it's, uh, I'm trying to catch, you know, I'm trying to catch some people, you know, but uh, yeah, say to you and everyone else. Yes, 
Well, I'm glad that you're in here. It's real cool. So look, just remember after the 4 a.m. thing tonight and your New Year's uh, stuff, make sure that you subscribe here so you can come back and see me all the time and see all my uploads and everything. Oh, that was another cool thing. Uh, Mark's, Mark uh, did uh, when I was on his, what was it Monday? No, it wasn't Monday. Was it Monday? Yeah, I think it was Monday. He put me on, uh, I mean, this guy's great. He's a great dude. I mean, a guy that looks out for the little guy. It's it's really nice of him to do this. Um, he put me on the YouTube, uh, on uh, Discord, because I'm a, I belong to Discord, Mark's Discord. But the thing is, is every time I go on there, our hours are so different between here and there um, that when I go on there, there's like no one on there. So I'll put stuff already. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Thank you. I'm glad to have a big old tailgate party at your place this time. Hey, uh, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. In my backyard's huge. I could probably put, I don't know, I don't know, probably 150 people back there where no one will even bump each other. So, uh, got a lot of room for a barbecue. Don't worry about it. So, everyone's invited within the shrimp fam. And I guess if you have a all you got to do is have like one shrimp and you're uh, invited. <laughs> but, uh, crap, what the heck was I going to say? Um, Oh, yeah. Okay. Smile. Yeah. Discord. Yeah. So he put me on there and I didn't even know. And when I was on his uh, stream the other day, he said hi. And then he said, oh, yeah. In case you didn't know, he put me on that YouTube on there. So every time I go live or I uh, upload a video, it comes up on there. I mean, that guy's just trying to help me out big time. And I really, really, really appreciate it. I mean, uh, he's uh, he's one in a million. That guy's uh, something else. I mean, I don't know. It's just something about him that sucked me into his channel. You know, he's got a really great attitude. And, uh, uh, he's personable. I mean, he's funny. You can't, you can't even remake his funny. I mean, you can't even steal his funny because it would sound so dumb if anyone else did it. So that guy's, he's got his, he's got his stuff together. But anyways, he put me on that. So. He says, Cichlids 23, hey, welcome, welcome. He's got one, shrimp, well, you're in. Come get you a cheeseburger. What? No bumping and grinding? <laughs> you do whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> Just go to the far back by the trees. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, oh, uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, Dragon Blood Blues. I have two pregnant Dragon Blood Blues in there, which are more or less just blue dragons, like the red dragons. Uh, cheeseburger with bacon. I'm, hey, I can get bacon. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, hey, and if you want to, you stay at night, we put tents out there, you'd be all good. But small channel, I need to put more videos on it, working on it, but I don't have that much tanks as you remark. How are your galaxies doing, by the way, Detroit Shepherd Clocks? Uh, well, for one, first, uh, let me just say, it, it doesn't matter how many videos you have. Yeah, I remember when... Gosh, I can't remember how many videos I had, how little amount of videos I had before I hit 100 subscribers. But the, th <laughs> the thing was, is I was doing videos. I'll answer the rest of your stuff. But I was, I started doing videos. I was filming my stuff and uploading videos. And I didn't go live yet. And then I was watching Mark Shrimp Tanks and he just, he just said, I've said it before and it's like, I mean, I know a lot of people say it. I was like, oh, I felt like he was talking to me. Well, I was just watching him at the time, but he said, uh, what do you say? He's like, just do it. Just go live. Just do it. I was like, all right. And that's what started it all was uh, me watching him on there. But uh, it's not the tanks. It's just, uh, you know, it's 
It's getting your name out there. It's more or less just everyone that you see all the time. You're on all these channels, the channels you go to. Is just ask people to come over and, and subscribe. Because that's the thing, if you only have a couple, well, we want to see everyone that you put out. So every time, you know, then everybody will see it, you know. So that's all I did. I just asked people and now it's just, I'm just to the point now to where, uh, you know, uh, the YouTube stuff, you know, um, they're like putting me out there and, you know, doing a few other things. And so it, it, it helps. And then people's word of mouth and everyone's sharing it and stuff. Uh, yeah. And I hit the rocks, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, the amount of tanks, the amount of tanks will come. Believe me, Petco and, uh, Pet Supplies Plus ain't going nowhere. So they'll be having dollar a gallon sales forever. Uh, that's how I did it. And, you know, I just bought a rack, bought some tanks, you know, and and that was it. That's where it ends. And then, uh, oh, my galaxies are doing really good. Uh, actually, I'm getting too many. Because, uh, you know, the red the red galaxy fish bones. Now, I mean, I'm literally getting, I was just looking at them as this was starting up. And there's just too many. And this one over here is getting packed. So now what I'm going to do is I have these empty tanks down here still. Uh, I'm going to go through these tanks and pick out my best. The best of the best. And I'm going to put them down there. Um, I have to break up uh, so many tanks. Um To, you know, like my best blue steels. Uh, there's a... You know, all the tanks, they're getting really full. They're doing really good. But, um, you know, like I said before, I was usually pushing shrimp more than wanting to uh, breed for, you know, the best looking shrimp. So now I'll still push shrimp. I'll sell shrimp. But now, I mean, I have so many and I have empty tanks and I'm able just to roll over and start. That's why, you know, I've dropped my prices way down. Uh... Uh, on a lot of my stuff, even my expensive stuff, so people can afford, uh, you know, it might not be the perfect, like uh, a fishbone might not have the perfect line up the back, but they're really high quality. So all you got to do is breed them. And, you know, let's say out of 30, out of 30 shrimp, you might get four or five that are just like perfect, perfect. And you just put them over and every time they have babies, move over your best ones, you know, but, uh, but yeah, so I don't forget. The Dragon Blood Blues are finally, after all this time, pregnant. Now, this is what I did. I was told a long time ago when I got them to keep them at 170. When I first got them, I was told to keep them at 170. So I started them out at 150. I dripped them into the water that they came out of. I think they're in like 110 or something. So I put them in 150, got up, up to like 170. They haven't done nothing. I've had them forever. They haven't done anything. Almost probably about eight, nine months. And so, like I said, I've been dropping the TDS down at all my tanks. And now I'm down to 130 over there and two of them are pregnant. So I wrote it on the glass. Well, it was actually 131, that 131 TDS. And I'm still going to take it down. But I'm dropping all the TDS down. I'm probably going to stay right at 130 for all my tanks right now. But I'm going to drop these down to maybe like 110. So my... My blue dragons, my red dragons, and then uh, here's here's the big thing that I was gonna. Um, it was supposed to be a surprise, but it didn't. It didn't make it. Uh, so they're gonna be sent right here after New Year's. I got the black dragons coming. Um, my friend has them, and uh, so I had ordered uh, the black dragons. And they sent them. And of course, USPS, 10 days. They got here, it was 56 degrees in the bag. So cold, they, they were dead. And they weren't dead long because they weren't, they didn't change color or anything. So I was putting them in water, warming up the water, see if they'd come back to life and they would. So I have a 10 pack of black dragons coming. And the black dragons, the reason why I like these so much uh the black calcios 
um, I just like calling them dragons. It just sounds so much cooler. Is uh, they produce the reds and the blues. So that's cool about that too. But I have the reds, I have the blues, and now I want to get the blacks. And he's the only one I know that has them. I didn't even know that he had them. So 130 for the Caradina, right? Uh, 130 for what? <laughs> Is that a dollar 30? I just put out sort of showcase videos in my kind of way, but that's the way you're supposed to do it. Don't change for anyone else. Look, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't do anything to my videos. I live stream. I don't cut, edit, nothing. My videos, I don't cut, edit, nothing. Look, it's just the way it is. This is how I video it. Maybe some people would like it if I cut edit. I wish I could put all that funny stuff in it, bloopers and this and that. I find it to be interesting. I th find it to be funny. Um, I'm, ju I'm just not that guy. I'm, I film it, I upload it. it. I mean, if I mess up, most of the time I won't upload it and I'll, re I'll refilm it. But if you're on this channel, you like you know the real stuff i mean i'm sure if i put funny stuff on here you know people would like it because it's funny i just don't know how to do it and uh you know if if someone was to show me a fast way to learn i mean real fast and i would take time but the time it takes to figure it out and download what i need to you know there's, there's so many different types of uh computer programs and stuff out there you know but if somebody could show me that's why i've been trying to find somebody around here my son was here and he showed me how to do a few things but he wasn't here long enough and plus he doesn't know anything about Streamlabs, so he we were only able to figure out so much so once i can figure that out then i'll i'll start doing more stuff but i look i don't i don't try to do put funny stuff in my videos to get subscribers. Just be you, do what you gotta do. And uh, you know, everyone will come. Uh, I just separated all my crazy blue bolts from my blue bolt population finally. Wish me luck. Monica Polo thinks I've got something special, but it could take, everything takes a while. You know that, I mean, if you have something special, it's gonna take a while, but guess what? The minute you they start producing, you know, and it doesn't have to be huge, but I mean, if 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 your shrimp start to produce uh, at a higher rate, you know, if they start to put, produce more crazy blues than than a regular blue bolt, then you could start selling them in like you know uh, trios or whatever, you know, and. And I mean, it'd be worth buying. Just buy three and start breeding them, you know. Dan Slee, what's up? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, California. Petco, dollar per gallon on now. Ooh. Entering the Pepper Dojo. Nice. Oh, I have to get uh, burnouts for distance. Bring the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's that? TDS. Uh, uh, so because TDS is for everyone different. I can tell you, I keep Caradina at 200 plus and they're bringing like crazy. Yeah, see, that's, that's the thing is, uh, I got it up to 200. Um, I didn't go higher than that because my, my, uh, uh, you know, the homework I do, I went from 110, 120, all the way up to 150, 180. Some of the tanks went up to 200. I didn't lose a shrimp. Didn't lose a shrimp. Uh, now I'm coming back down to spend a little more time um, because I have some sensitive shrimp. And that's what I'm realizing. Some of the shrimp that I have, you know, I believe possibly... Uh, had babies and they didn't survive because the TDS was high, uh, but the shrimp are still alive. So um, I dropped it down to see what it, what it'll turn into now, uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, but I have 
the um the uh god I'm forgetting the name the dragons the red the calcios they like a lower TDS uh my uh the the boas they they got pregnant like around a 160 they got pregnant fast I had a male and two females so now I'm just waiting for them to kick their babies out but I'm bringing them down too I want to get them around 120 110 120 and see how that works but uh yeah and then I just uh talked to uh was it Mike Green messaged me you guys all know Mike Green he said he hasn't changed his water since September and his tanks are just kicking out good stuff hey Monica Lynn welcome 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 hey, uh happy new year Merry Christmas good to see ya Just like Laverne and Shirley, we're going to make our dreams come true, yeah? Pumpkin King in the house. What up, what up? I've got to go for a bit. Late dinner is right. All right, Leah, thanks so much for uh, stopping in. I wasn't going to stay long either, so I just wanted to come in tell everyone Happy New Year's. Oh, God, it's, it's going to be so nice not having to hear everybody say 2020. 2020 now it's gonna be 2021 i just wish 20 would would go away it's just i don't know i remember i liked hearing 1985 <laughs> 1990 you know it's 1999 was a song you know it's like there's nothing for 2020 now 2021 it's just you know how can you make a you know, Prince ain't here no more, but he can't make a song called 2021 or, you know, it, I don't know. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. It's just not, hey, B, I've cut back to water takes every two weeks a gallon. See, that's a, <laughs> see, everybody's starting to uh, stretch the water changes out again. Everyone on here is starting to do their own homework. That's what I'm saying. That's what I like seeing, you know, because I can't tell you. That's the thing. I can tell you what works here. But so you can see everyone's listening because it's like, I can't tell you what kind of water you have. You guys have to go and do that yourself. Stretch it out. Raise your TDS. Lower your TDS. You know, you just have to make sure that, you know, your ammonia, nitrites and nitrates, your pH and all that stuff is good. And then do your practice, stretch out your water changes, do smaller amounts, larger amounts on the, on the, uh, on the Neos. Um, uh, slower refills. You drain it out as fast as you want. Don't put it in so fast. Uh, I still use my hook, um, but I just cut that sucker down real slow, and uh, I don't have to worry about doing drip, drip, drip. Look, I'm I'm too I I'm 48 times a ticket. Next thing I know, I'm gonna be 78. So, and I don't want to be caught here doing water changes watching drips go by so uh my drips got to be at a certain speed so it's like uh shape up or ship out you know you got to toughen up around here you know we are in detroit you can't be afraid of a drip of water so but uh yeah so you know do your water changes slow them up uh do larger ones on Neos. They like, they like, uh, you know, big water changes, but put it back in slow. Uh, I'm not talking about it takes an hour to put back two gallons. That's, that's way too slow. But if your water temperature is a little different than what's in the tank, you don't want that to, to shock them. So if it goes in real slow, if there's a, uh, one degree or one and a half, two at the max. Like a, I highly doubt you could get a two degree uh, water temp change if you drip it in at a slow speed. Um, then everything will be all right. I mean, I've done water changes really fast, and like two to three days later, I see a dead shrimp. 
So I'm like, okay, I can see that it stresses some out, but you know, it's again, it's, you know, it, it's like the weaker shrimp, you know, I hate to see any of them die, but you know, uh, that's the only possibility that I could think of. It's the weaker shrimp that pass when something like that's done, but I'm great, just don't work a lot. Gotta pay for all those shrimp, LOL. I got two new tanks to set up. Yeah, Lefty3213, he just put in an order for shrimp, but he he did good. He put an order in for sponge filters, uh, the live bacteria that I sell. Um, he or a whole bunch of stuff to get these tanks all set up. And he already put an order for shrimp for me to hold for him. So, yeah, how has Monica Lynn been? Haven't seen Monica around for a while. Like that little shrimp you put up there. Oh, look, it even says shrimp. Sweet. Yeah, and I sent out the winning packages. Oh, there's Tim right there. Happy New Year, buddy. And feeding my trumpet snails. It's good to see you in here. Yeah, I was just telling everybody, uh, Pumpkin King said he got some new tanks that he's got to set it up. And I was telling him that you got tanks and you just got live bacteria so you can start getting them set up. I've heard lots lately about those spiky balls. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Being good for a shrimp tank, they're like liquid amber trees. Some call them, yeah, sweet gum. Yep, 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 yep. How do you treat that? Uh, just boil them. Uh, if you're worried about anything, just boil them. Uh, what I do is uh, don't put them in there before you boil the water. It's just like my alder cones. Uh, it's just they're... Well, they're not the exact same, but they do the, the same type of deal. They grow the uh, uh, um, uh, the biofilm on them, you know, and all that stuff. And they can sit there and, and eat at them. But if they bleed out the tannins that the alder cones let out, boil them first. Uh, and then, well, for one, they'll sink uh, better because... Uh, Alder cones don't sink at all when you drop them in. They'll, they'll float until they get waterlogged. So boil them. Uh, if you don't mind tannins, uh, then just chuck them in there until they till they sink. But yeah, um, I boil them first. Because here's the thing is, even with if you get something from me and you're unsure, let it be leaves or alder cones or anything, you know, it's always good to boil it. Because, I mean, I get it from somewhere. <laughs> and... If something's on it, possibly, you know, this way it'll kill everything. You don't ever have to worry about anything being on there. Um, <laughs> I, I don't listen to my own, uh, you know, advice because, uh, like, I just chuck my leaves in there. And, uh, you know, I guess I live on the edge. But, uh, yeah, it's just boil them. That's all you got to do. Just like leaves and stuff, leaves, anything they put in there, like wood anything it uh it'll take the tannins out but it won't do, it won't hurt it at all it'll just uh take the tannins out and it'll help it sink faster i started doing the leah jet thing and i got one more bottle here i haven't even opened yet uh, i started doing the cinnamon stick thing boiling it i boiled them until they opened up and then i dropped them down in there and i don't see huge amounts of shrimp in them but there's shrimp in there grazing. So that lets me know probably throughout the whole day and the night, everything, there's shrimp going through and grazing. And I just put it in the bottom tanks uh, and a couple over there just to see. Um, now, I don't have massive biofilm growth on them, but I don't know if that's just because they've been in them every day uh, since I dropped them in there. So they're always on them. So. All the cones are great for shrimp tanks. Been using them for years now in my shrimp tanks and fish tank. Yeah. Uh, and another thing is like um, 
what is it, uh, the, the Humate, because that's what's in, like, the leaves and stuff. You can buy Humate liquid to put in your tanks, and, like, they say, like, uh, the stuff that's in alder cones and Indian almond leaves and stuff, um, that leaks out, and, you know, the tannins and stuff, that it's really, uh, healthy for the shrimp, and it can, I don't know, uh, possibly if they have a bacteria or something, or, you know, something's wrong with them, they say that, uh, that the tannins and stuff can make them feel better. Well, what I've done before is I've taken the alder cones, and I've boiled them in a pot. And I boil it until it, it till a lot of the water gets out, and to where it starts really thicken up. And I just pour it in a bottle. And so at times, let's say I have a slow tank or something, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm not really huge on putting the uh, the um, peroxide or not prox, yeah, the H2O2 in there or whatever. Uh, but I put it in there. But uh, I'll put that humate in there. Put drips of that in there and let it you know, discolor the tank and now they have all that, but you can have it on hand at any time. So if you boil it, bottle it, um, just keep it in your refrigerator. Cause if you keep it, let it get warm over time, it'll like start to mold up like a tea because it's, uh, if you look it up, a lot of the stuff you can drink it. You know, they say Indian almond leaf tea is good. Uh, you know all that stuff they say there's real there's uh health properties out of it so yeah see peco sells the leaf extract but if you boil your own before you throw it in the tank you can make your own extract but yeah it's still cheap but still it's like medicine you know dobo when is the best time of year to collect alder cones uh when the trees are uh are uh um you know uh dormant uh because you can get them off the trees a lot easier because when it's uh you know it's like anything um any kind of pine cone or any kind of cone they don't like to come off too easy when the tree is you know uh in the spring and summertime when it's the strongest you know fall late mid to late fall would be best to to take anything, whether it be leaves, because like when I do my uh, uh, my ballberry leaves, uh, I'll do it in the summer when, <clears throat> excuse me, when I want to uh, um, grind them up. But when I want to put them in fresh and green, I'll just go get them in the summertime. I boil them and I throw them in the tanks because they like them green. Well, if I go get them later in the year when they're starting to turn and I put them in a bag and I let them sit the rest of the year, then when I stick them in, you know, they're brown. So, uh, but mid to late fall, they just, I mean, you just touch them. They just fall right off the tree. So can't go to Petco. Dollar per gallon sale running now. Hunker King, yeah. This time is beginning of spring. And only the black ones. Oh, okay, there you go. Best time is beginning of spring. And only the black ones from last year. They're the ones you want. Oh, so would they be the dried up ones? Might try mixing to create type type B once I get babies. <laughs> Why would you tell me that? So you can go buy more. That's cool. I never thought about cinnamon sticks for shrimpies. Yeah, uh, Leah Jet uh, has a video on it. So if you want, punch it up on YouTube. Just put uh, cinnamon sticks for biofilm. And there's a bunch of videos and then hers comes up and she shows it the biofilm's really thick but ever since i put them in there they're always in it so um i just you know you could see the inside of it it's like uh cloudy so i could see that it, it's growing but 
they just eat it so fast. But um, just knowing that I have something else in there that's creating biofilm, um, I just would like to find a store that actually sells them, but doesn't sell them for cooking. You know, they might sell them for incense or something else, you know, to where they're a lot cheaper and they'd be a lot bigger. But yeah, I just take these and I snap them in half, put them in a pot and boil them for like, I think she has on her video or she told me uh, it's like a hour, hour and a half or something like that. Cause they get real soft and then you pull it out with like a fork onto it, like a towel, wait for a minute. And then you just start <clears throat> pulling it apart with a couple forks. And then after probably about 10 seconds, you can literally pick them up, bend them op open, flip them over and then they're you know they're not rolled up anymore it wasn't hard uh i did the whole thing in probably i don't know 10 minutes after i boiled it so but yeah they all all the shrimp go in it uh but the, my thing was is for the the baby shrimp i wanted to put it in there to uh raise my um uh the ones that live you know so I can, uh, you know, keep my, keep the shrimplets, more shrimplets living, you know, cause I have the biofilm. I mean, I have wood in there and plenty, but there's some tanks that don't. And just because you have wood and other stuff, you know, if you have 80 shrimp in there, they're eating the stuff all day. So you have to have a lot of biofilm, uh, you know, for shrimplets to feed off of, you know, or when they come out, you know, they're not going to have that immediate meal that they need to stay alive. So, um, I just thought, you know, for as cheap as it was, it was worth giving it a shot. It doesn't discolor the water and it makes your house smell incredible while you're boiling it. So, uh, it's a win-win. A win-win. Uh, I was just thinking about a friend wants my peacock cichlids and I said, well, if I don't can add another rack of shrimp tanks. Look, here's the thing. I always know this and I don't say it just because I sell shrimp and I have a ton of shrimp. I had a ton of cichlids. All right. A ton. I have cichlids still, but always know this. If you get rid of your peacocks, Every fish store sells peacocks, fish. Unless you got something that you ordered from another country, you can get those peacocks anywhere. Anywhere. You know, peacocks, every store's got them. It's just some might have uh, some harder ones to get than other ones, but everyone's got them. So if you sell them and in five years you go, hmm, you know, it'd be nice to have another tank of peacocks. It's not like you're going to go, oh, my gosh. Oh, I used to have these boa shrimp, and, man, I got rid of them. And, man, now I want some more, and they're so expensive. God, I should have kept them. You know, it's not like that. Peacocks are a dime a dozen, and they're cheap, and it won't break the bank. And, you know, so, you know, what the heck? Sell them. Make Sell them for a little more than what you would, you know, make some profit because you've been feeding them and you, you know, you got them to a certain size. So charge a little less than the store would and then uh, turn the tanks over and they're already cycled. You know, change the substrate if you have to, you know, leave the water, vacuum them out really good. Good to go. New Python for a set of tanks. What is that? Oh, I bought a new Python for a set of tanks. Set. I saw a cool male Crebensis. I may drive him. <laughs> yeah, hey, they're they're nice fish. Really nice fish. Uh, when you pick the alder cones in the beginning of spring, the older black ones already been through the winter. Yeah, so extra sort of security of no weird stuff in your tanks. Oh, oh, okay, okay, been through, yeah, 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 okay. So, yeah, anything that was on them is dead. Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. That's good to know. Atkins Nature Aquariums, hey, 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 happy new year. Stay on here for 10 more minutes, do a whole hour. 
What cichlids do I keep? I have a uh, super red Severums that I actually sell. Uh, that's why I got rid of all my cichlids uh, because we want to make them as comfy as possible. Uh, I think they're going to start laying eggs here again, but super red Severums and I have one archer left. Uh, got bristlenose plecos we breed and sell. Uh, and then uh, Pumpkin King on here was kind enough and sent my family uh, a pair of uh, half beaks. I think they're the platinum half beaks because uh, everything I looked up, they're identical to platinum half beaks. So, uh, and that's it now. Uh, yeah, the platinum half beak. Oh, we got uh, L333 plecos. I have uh, albino bristlenose nose plecos in that tank over there. L333s here, and I keep my L333s in the uh, my um, Neocaridinia uh, cull tank. So everything I pull out of these tanks, I put over there in a 20 long, and that tank's just explode. <laughs> uh, but um, and then uh, yeah, over there I have super red Severums. Oh, I have one Japanese. Algae eater. Me and Luke got him at my Walmart Myers. I think it was Myers. He was just like an inch long. Now he's like seven, eight inches long. He's this big around. And now he's starting to get dark spots on him. So we probably had him for three years. Uh I don't know how much longer he'll live, but so that's what we got. And Happy New Year to you, too. That's all we have anymore. We got rid of everything else. But yeah, I used to have so many peacocks. And, uh, you know, we had, uh, I mean, just so much. I used to keep fish that they said you're not supposed to keep together. Keep them all. Red Severum are parrot cichlids, right? No, they are not. <laughs> Nowhere near a parrot. No, no, no. Parrot cichlids to me are ugly. I think a parrot cichlid is uh, a man-made. It's like a goldfish and something mixed or something. I know they're mean, but no. Super Red Severum. It, just look up Severums. Severums, they say, uh, se uh, excuse me. Severums are the poor man's discus uh, because they're, you know, some of them are super, super colorful. But the super red Severum, they got lines in it like a, like a puzzle, you know, like the old puzzles in the magazines and newspapers when you're young. You had to, you had where you could get in, and then there's a bazillion different ways to go to find the exit. That's what a super, the super red Severum's body looks like. Uh, and we've always liked them, but we just got lucky. I had two big, huge males. I bought two of them at the store. Um, and then I got rid of mine and my wife kept hers. And then I was with my sister at the store and they had babies. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get another one. And I got it and ended up being a female. And uh, once you got big enough, now they're both huge. So we're trying to find, keep two of the babies that can be male, female, because I don't know how much longer, I don't know how long the Severums really live. So I would say the male, when I got him, he was probably, probably a year, I'd say he was at least a year old when I got him, he was pretty large. And I don't know if he was using them for breeding then, but like I said, I bought two of them uh, and yeah, before I put the babies back in there, they were laying eggs once a month, and I put the babies back in there, and they haven't laid eggs since. So I've taken out almost 20 of them already, and it seems like they're getting ready to lay eggs again, so that might have did it. Uh, Fish Tropic, hey, Happy New Year. To me, who is me? No, they aren't, yeah. Uh, hey, Brian, you got to jump on Father Fist's stream when you're done here. 
Why would I do that? Oh, Fish Chopper saying that. Yeah, why would I go to Father Fish's street? He's a fish guy. I mean, I go on his stream, but does he got something special on or something? Do you have any credences at Fish Traffic? I'm looking for some. No, any decent sources? Anyone? Cribs. Uh, I don't know if we have any down here. I'd have to check. I could make some calls and let you know. Uh, what's tomorrow? Friday? Yeah, I could check tomorrow. A New Year's stream. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not. I really, I don't go to many, uh, many uh, fish. Uh, the only one I go to once in a while is uh, I'll stop in the LRBs for like three minutes. Uh, uh, I do like uh, Corey from Aquarium Co-op. Uh, I don't know. The guy's just uh, stupid smart. You know, he's... I don't know the dude, you know, it's just, uh, even though he's about fish, I mean, he, he knows a lot about everything. So, I mean, it's not like if you ask him about something, he's going to go, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. I only know fish. Uh, you know, he's, he's super wicked smart. So he's wicked smart, but, uh, you know, uh, I check him out once in a blue moon, uh, Danikin, I think I check him out like once every couple months. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know. But yeah, I might uh, check it. Waru are awesome. Waru are sick, man. Waru are, uh, yeah. If if I got rid of the Severums, if I wanted to get rid of the Severums to get something, it would be a, a thing of Waru. They're, God, are they so cool. They have a bad issue of getting ick, though. My Severums ain't never got sick. But them Warus, boy, look look it up. They have, like, a tendency to, to catch uh, some sicknesses. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm sorry, Fish Tropic. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I, I'm I, glad you told me. I never think of it that way. Now, I like Father Fish. That dude's cool. I mean, how can you not be gangster when you're around as long as he is, you know? Uh, you know, I give him his props. You know, he does really good. You know, it's just... Uh, I mean, I see his store. The music he plays is really cool. I don't know. I could see myself going there and just chilling and looking at all of his stuff. You know, and he keeps, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> when I see his videos, I kind of think of a, like an antique store. You know, like you can go in there and, and buy antique stuff and buy fish. You know, just, I, I don't know. It just, it has a cool vibe to it. Uh, I like it. It's pretty neat. Saw a little chocolate cichlid. I wanted him so bad. Uh, chocolate. Um, uh, uh, da, 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 the chocolate. Um, yeah, I know you're talking about uh, uh, the chocolate. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's got the real long things. On. Yeah, I know you're talking about a store I used to go to, a fish store I used to go to around here. Had a bunch of them. Chocolate. Uh, they're. Uh, Cause they make miniature ones, but not chocolate ones. Uh, see, I've been out of it for a while. I can't, I know it starts with a C. I just can't think of it. Brian, did you see the Instagram I sent you on those cool looking bow shirts? Oh no, I did not. I was wondering if their color changing means they're sick or not. Bow shrimp are cool looking. No, I did not uh, see that. I'll have to look at that. Uh, not always when uh, shrimp change color doesn't mean they're sick. If their heads change color, like if they die and uh, their heads like turn pink. In my in my uh, time of doing this, um, it seems to me that when their heads turn pink that there's like a bacteria. Uh, 
a bacterial issue. And, um, you know, that's why I sell the, uh, the immune booster because the immune booster helps keep their immunity strong. And when stuff like that happens, you put that immune booster in the tank, and, uh, it helps with the water. But also I found that in my time of keeping shrimp that a lot of times that happens. It's, it could be um, that your tanks are dirty, meaning they could look okay, but you might have a lot of crap in the substrate you might have, a, you know, stuff under your mosses. You might just have, you know, test test your uh, nitrates, you know, because your your parameters could be way off. Uh, but if they, you know, shrimp can change if you put them on a lighter substrate to a darker substrate, they'll change all day long. Uh, so you always got to keep that uh, consideration too. But I'll look. Chocolate Scooby Snacks. Chocolate Scooby Snacks. Would, would love a tank of South American puffers. Yeah, it's uh, puffers are, I don't know if they're South American puffers, but oh gosh, my buddy's got a big puffer in, in one of his tanks right now. Uh, where Pumpkin King, where I sent you those pictures of the puffers, the little puffers before you're looking for pea puffers and stuff. Uh, he's got a big, uh, I don't know, it's bigger than a paper towel roll, the head on it. It's, it's pretty darn big. It's, uh, I'd say maybe the big as a pop can. It's super cool looking and it's pretty kind of long. I'd say, I don't know. I didn't see it exactly how long, but maybe about seven inches or something. It was, it was pretty, pretty sweet. So a little chocolate sickly. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Hypsilocara temporalis. Here we go with those big words. There's a big chocolate sickle. He may sell it to you. <laughs> Check the mail. My cards have gone out late. Oh, thank you, Monica. Who has Scooby Snacks? <laughs> Dogs ate them all. They're the only ones having a good time tonight. No mail today. I know someone that has crack sacks. <laughs> Thank you, Fish Topic. Thank you. Yes, we have crack sacks. Was this his name rhymes with why? <laughs> shit. Oh, Fish Topic. You killed me, dude. You killed me. That's yeah, probably a Fahaka or an Embu puffer. Both. You got to have over 125. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's a Fahaka because uh, I believe those are really dark. I could be wrong. I'm not a, a puffer pro, but um, uh, it was a lighter one. I would, I, it's, yeah, it looked like the face was a little yellower. I don't know. I would have to take picture, but I know it was in, I think it's getting like a 30 tall or something right now. But, you know, when people bring in, uh, and it's in fresh water, when people bring in uh, puffers, or I mean, any fish, they don't always get put in the right size tanks. When I take fish there, I make them put my stuff in the right size tanks. I'll make them move every fish out of there. If I feel that there's something in there that could hurt my fish, or that's an aggressive fish, I'll have them empty the whole tank or you can't have them. It's just how it is. I don't care what you do with those fish, but they ain't going in with my fish. No, sir. I will not take my fish to a fish store and have them be abused and beaten up on by other fish because they say that they don't have any other place to house them. Well, then they'll stay home with me. But yeah, no, it's that's probably a Fajaka. Uh, uh, Crack sex, get your New Year's crack sex. <laughs> one for you, one for you, <laughs> for you. Crack for all this New Year's 2021 year, the crack sex. Yes, sir. I love it. That's hilarious. All right, everyone. Well, it is just over an hour. I Like I said, I want to come on here and say thank you to everyone that's 
been a part of Detroit Shrimp and Aquatics since we started. And since the day we started, uh, because, uh, you know, I just have to give thanks to all you guys and girls because it's because of you that, you know, we're here. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, thank you for everything you do for my family. I mean, people send Luke little presents, uh, you know, they send me stuff, you know, uh, we just want to say thank you, uh, for everything, you know, so everyone here at Detroit Shrimp wants to say thank you to everyone out there who is subscribed and who is not subscribed. Um, we just, you know, we really appreciate all that you do. And, you know, you might not think it's much, but it is. Uh, like I said, just clicking on here, just hitting a thumbs up, just hitting the subscribe, anything. That's all, you know, it's all big deal to us here. So we want to say thank you. And to everyone here, we want to say have a great rest of your night. Uh, be really safe. Try to stay home if you have to. Don't do nothing dumb. So we're all here in the morning uh, with a hangover or not. <laughs> but uh, I wish everyone a uh, happy 2021. So until we see each other again, everyone stay safe, please. And from Detroit Shrimp and Aquatics, we just want to say Happy New Year. And have a good night. All right. Bye. Thank you.